We moved in to this attic, a rooflet space in the city, on the major archery of Dublin, Grafton Street. The scale of Dublin is still a walkable city, like everybody in our office either walks or cycles to work. There's that kind of sense of being able to claim the territory. I think there are a number of other things about Dublin that make it really special. I think the people, people engage with one another. The other wonderful pieces of Dublin um, is the river, Liffey, and then the, the two canals which have now become infrastructure tamed. Architecture is very loose. The Georgian squares, for instance, were built in plots of six or ten or four, all the same but all different. Sometimes it's a seat. Uh, we, we love the seat in Santiago de Compostela, which is a, um, an, for the pilgrim. We've taken ideas of the long seat in a number of our projects in schools where you have a gymnasium 35 metres long and the exterior, a brick wall, and you place a, a seat which runs at 35 metres. And you have students against this enormous wall enjoying their kind of radiant heat from the brick because it's facing south. In Limerick, what was extraordinary was that the idea behind this new medical school was to reform the way that medicine was taught in Ireland. And it was based on a model in Canada where a teacher of medicine was inspired by a school of architecture and decided to try it out as a way of teaching medicine. The more we work with people dealing with education, the more they tell us and we know that knowledge is absorbed consciously and unconsciously. It's absorbed accidentally. Sometimes it's consumed, sometimes it's discovered. If you put students into a certain kind of space, they will expect to be fed. If you put them into another kind of space, they will expect to be challenged or they're automatically challenged. So space prepares you to receive or to respond. So we were thinking about things like that in the making of the medical school. We made a big vessel with these studios, which are laboratories, with all the normal backup computer rooms and all of that. The staircase really is a social artery. It's a really important room, even if it's small. So that thing of moving up the stairs, making a landing, having a shelf, being able to stop, have a conversation and continue on, that thing of accidental meeting. light focuses on surfaces and the way the surface breaks up the light or reflects it or accentuates the weight or the enclosure or the mass or sometimes the lightness. So light and surface are very much related in that sense because they play together. What we were interested in the Royal Academy is getting that sense of pleasure of moving from darkness to light or moving from light to darkness because that's what we're like as human beings. We're cyclical in so many ways. What we found really interesting was to think about the actual roof light as our sight, in a sense. That if you plugged into that void in some way to accentuate in the darker room, that we would accentuate a sense of weight and moodiness and in the really light room, in Gallery 9, that we would accentuate lightness. Architecture is also about emphasising the light of the location. I mean, we really believe in, if you, what we say is um, architecture is a new geography, but that emphasising a quality of light in a place is the role of the cultural aspect of architecture. The name Sensing Spaces really was challenging mm. because what it said to us is how, as architects, do you connect to the public and make the thing that we have every day in our lives, how do we heighten that awareness so that they come away going, ah, that's about light. Uh, they, they both have beautiful roof lights, so we took the roof lights as being the site. We plug one structure up into the roof light in the lecture room, which is about weight and mass, and then in the other room, we're trying to explore lightness. 
And one of the reasons for doing the diagonal is because there's that it's very axial way of moving through the White Academy, but you get fantastic diagonal views through the doors as well. So we're trying to break the, the axial thing. And also the Soda de Mora door is over here. So we were trying to get a view from this seat through this door, through a new frame that he has made into uh, the gallery that he is in. So that, that there's some connection. We're not artists in the same sense that uh, painters and sculptors are. It's different. And so we really wanted to make, to use the language of architecture. and really just thought about, about structure, about surface, about light, about weight, about lightness, and the way that the, let's call it the installations, are held up. So we tried to make it as close to the making of a building as, as possible. Light is uh, one of the most essential ingredients of architecture and space. Can you just think of light, which is free, everybody can have it, that you have this free beauty, how can we um, uh, move it and change it and uh, capture it so that for a short time in your life you say, hmm, this is something lovely here.